Hey guys, what's up? I just want to say sorry for not being active on my YouTube channel lately. Um, I plan on being more active in the future. I don't have too many videos planned as of now, so if you want more of my content, be sure to check me out on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash homelessbaby, just like my YouTube channel name. I'll have the same little avatar and everything. And I mainly stream Rocket League on there. I'll occasionally stream other games. Um, but for now, mainly Rocket League. So if you like Rocket League or just want to check me out, go ahead and check me out over there. In the meantime, though, what this video is about, let's get into it. Uh, fuck. Uh, about Forza Horizon using DualShock 4, 4 on Forza Horizon 4. So what you want to do is make sure you have DualShock for Windows downloaded. I'll have it in the top of the description. Um, go ahead and download it from there. Get everything set up. You can watch a few videos about that. Um, it's really straightforward. Pretty simple. But once you have your controller connected, what you want to do is go ahead and open up DualShock for Windows. And your controller should pop up right there. All right. Next thing you want to do, open up Task Manager and close out any, any game... Uh, game launchers, or anything like that. Um, so some examples would be Steam, Origin, Battle.net, Epic Games, Uplay. Make sure all of the background services that they have, or any of the, uh, they might, you might have them start on launch, and they might just be running it in the background. So you want to make sure that all those are um, disabled, or not disabled, but ended um, through Test Manager. So... Once that is done, you're going to close out of that. Next thing you want to do is go in the settings and hit hide the DualShock 4. You should hear a little sound. You might not have heard it, but I did. Uh, occasionally, it might say that it wasn't able to. It'll pop up in red. You want to go ahead and open up Task Manager again and make sure that all of these programs over here are closed out so that you might have like a uh, background um, process running for Epic Games or something. So you want to make sure you close that out. Uh, worst case scenario, just restart your system. Uh, go ahead and open up Task Manager, manually close all of them, and run it up again and do the same thing. Uh, anyways, once you so once you hide your DualShock 4, I'm going to go ahead and open Forza back up, wait for it to kick on, do whatever, it, do its thing. And now we wait. You might be able to do it right now while the game's loading up. I just like to wait until the game is fully loaded at the menu before I do anything. Just to know that the game, just so the game knows that it's running and everything. And I just, I don't know. I just want to make sure that it works. Because it's worked every time from the main menu. Alright, so once we're here, I want to go ahead and tab out. And then go back in here, unhide your DualShock 4, and then hide it again while the game is open. And from that, your controller should work as there. I just pressed X on my controller, and now we're loading up into a game. And we should be good to go. So hopefully that helps. Uh, one or two things that might happen while you do the, I, You do have to do this each time. Um, you want to use it, I believe. It's kind of weird. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. If your controller doesn't work, you just want to always uh, you want to follow those steps, and that should work almost every single time. Oh, one thing that might happen though is that the DualShock for Windows will won't properly connect your controller. Like it won't list anything; it'll be blank. So what you have to do, um, I'll link a video in the description because it won't say for me. Um, but what you have to do is you go into the device manager and go, go here and you should be able to find your controller. Since I have DualShock for Windows open, um, all this pops up instead of my, uh, instead of the game controller, but I'll link a video to that if that so happens. And what I'm talking about is like, all this is blank and everything. Um, but that's kind of rare. That's only happened to me once and once I did that, it seemed to work. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my Twitch. Subscribe for more on YouTube. I don't know how much it will be. But otherwise, yeah.